How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a complete anime series unboxing. And this is going to be on two shows, uh, both of which are uh, adapted from video games. And that is Mystical Ninja and Power Stone. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have uh, the legend of the Mystical Ninja. This is an uh, old uh, ADV uh, films release. There's the front cover. There's the uh, Goemon, who's like the main uh, character. So this was a uh, series of games. And we did get... I'm not sure how many we got in the States. I know there's one called... Um, I think it's Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, I think. I think that's the name. Yeah. And I believe that was the fifth uh, entry into the series. So I'm not sure if we got the rest of them. Yeah, Because I... I vaguely remember seeing a uh, game for it at a uh, Blockbuster when we used to go there. Uh, we were uh, younger and stuff, so yeah. There's the spine. There's the top. Oh, and here's the bottom. So uh, you get the entire series on five DVDs, four by three, with the black bars on the sides. Region is one. Japanese 2.0 and uh, English 2.0. Uh, the Japanese does have English uh, subtitles. And this is a thin pack set. And unfortunately, the only thing you get with, um, with this is, uh, as far as extras wise, is Volume 1 has uh, some um, uh, previews and credits, and that's it. Yeah. Like, there's no other like behind the scenes footage or anything like that. So, here is Volume 1. All right. And then here is the back. Yeah, you follow uh, you know, Goemon, who I believe is voiced by Edward El Edward Elric, <laughs> that same voice actor, is uh, cause uh, yeah, it sounds just like him. And anything, and uh, yeah, you just follow like you know his adventures with like his uh, his friends and people he meets. There's also a uh, giant mech, uh, which it's cool <laughs> giant mech ninja robot i think the game had you like fighting like dumplings and stuff <laughs> like there's the mech and stuff there's also like i think a little robot right there there's some of his uh friends and yeah really cool this nice little fun series i happened to find it for really cheap i think it was like uh 10 bucks so yeah here is uh volume two this guy has that knife look at what the heck is that look at yeah, there's some, uh, kind of like, uh, some dark things in here a little bit. Whether it's just like a, a scene or like something that someone says, you're just like, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> there's a disc. Alright, here is volume three. So yeah, did we play the game? Uh, no, I don't recall ever renting it. I just remember seeing the box. Uh, quite a few times and stuff, and it's like, oh, okay, that looks cool. But they're probably, uh, really rare now, so, you know, if you're looking for the games or the series, you know, definitely be careful of pricing and stuff. I think that entry was for, uh, Nintendo 64, I think? Yeah. Which we do still have. Yeah, we still have it. <laughs> it's volume 4. Yeah, they see he's got some weird... Like enemies and allies, character designs, you know, kind of out there. But it's funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it's fun. You just pop it in, have a good time. All right. Here's volume four. And finally, we have volume five. And there you see, the, like, the giant, like, robot and stuff. There's another one. Looks like they got a fight. Looks like there is space. Look what the heck. <laughs> And yeah, the dub is uh, pretty cool, pretty funny. Uh, the Japanese sub, you know, sounds good, sounds great. And yeah, it's a really cool series. So there's Volume 5, and that does it for Mystical Ninja. So yeah, this one, I think you can find it on... I think I saw it on Right Stuff Anime, actually. Uh, yeah, for really cheap. Uh, I think it's part of like their uh, like clearance... 
you know, so where you find a lot of older series, a lot of uh, like thin pack sets or older uh, keep case ones, art boxes, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'd probably say look on there if you're looking for it. Uh, the games, uh, you know, Amazon and stuff. Even this you probably find on Amazon, but do be careful because they're probably really rare like this one. So, yeah, Mystical Ninja, cool little series. All right, and last up, we're going to look at Power Stone. So here is Volume 1, Mystery of the Stones. Oh, man, we played the heck out of this. Uh, based on the hit, or based on the mega hit video game, and that was on uh, Dreamcast. Yeah, which we did have... At one point, uh, this is also by ADV, but I think it stopped working or something like that. Yeah, because we no longer have it. Yeah, but we had Power Stone, uh, the first one, and we did eventually get the second one. Or no, I think we just rented that one. Yeah. And really, really cool. Here's the name of the episodes. And this, you follow uh, Edward Falcon, who's the son of a guy named Pride Falcon. Who gives him this uh, mysterious stone, and it turns out it's one of the uh, power stones. And it gives you like different abilities. So like his is like he he turns into like a like a robotic kind of fighter who flies around. He can like fire missiles, and it changes which with uh, each person. There is artwork on the disc. Hopefully you guys can see that. And you do get a little pamphlet. And yeah, you just follow the adventure there. He has like this uh, guy named Vargas that he, uh, you know, admires. He's like his inspiration. And, uh, you know, circumstances arise to where they might end up facing each other, possibly. And yeah, so the cast for the series, I think it's mostly, yeah, just the ones from the first game. But really cool. Uh, you have like Jack. Who's right here? You have like a ninja. You have a uh, oh, what's that guy's name? Gunrock. He talks about his kids a lot. <laughs> He's got a bunch. You have uh, I think it's Wang Tang, Galuda, Ayumi. Is it Ayumi? Yeah, like the ninja and stuff. Really cool series. And this one is the same thing. Um, no extras, just previews. Here's volume two. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is only in English. Yeah, uh, there's no um, Japanese subtrack as far as like these releases go. But yeah, I think this is the only time it's been released out here. Yeah, when uh, ADV got it and stuff. So, uh, but I think you can find like different videos of the opening in different languages. So, yeah, I'm not sure if there was a Japanese. Subtrack for it, but uh, it's not out here on these releases, so. And for what I can tell, these are the only ones. Like, there's no thin pack or anything like that. Here's Volume 3. Yeah, see, like, that's in uh, the Samurai's uh, form right there. And yeah, I think it pretty much just follows the game. Yeah. Or, like, you know, they do their own, like, kind of story with it. But, uh, overall, it's really cool. Love the opening, opening theme and stuff. The, uh, dub track is pretty cool. I thought it was pretty goofy. <laughs> you know, kind of funny. But, uh, yeah. Fun show. Just like a Mystical Ninja. You know, just popping in. Enjoy it. Here's volume, uh, four. You also have a pirate that's, uh, Kraken. Yeah. And there's, like, his, uh, his form. He's, like, a skeleton. Yeah, there he is. All right. And he also has like this uh this butler that follows Falcon around. He's just like, "What are you doing here?" Like <laughs> And I think he got a form too. I think I think he got a he got a power stone at one point. Yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, that's volume Four, yeah, so here is volume five. There are six total. Yeah, there's a ninja. Yeah, I want to say it's Ayane or Ayumi. I think it's Ayane. Yeah, the more I think about it. Yeah. All right. 
And yet a game, oh man, there's uh, there's Wang Tang, uh, there's Galuda's form. And uh, yeah, awesome, really fun. Like you, you run around, like you can throw things at your opponent, you know, you get a power stone, you power up for a little bit, and then, uh, you know, you're trying to take out your opponent. And then the second one just added, you know, even more, like uh, you have like these turrets you can handle, uh, take control of, uh, bigger... Um, I think you have four-player battles and stuff in that, which is really fun. Because it ain't the original game, it was just like two players. Yeah. Yeah, really cool. Uh, I did hear a long time ago that there was going to be like a mini version of the Dreamcast. I don't think that's ever happened yet. Right? Not that I recall. But uh, hopefully Power Stone will be on there if it hasn't happened already. Both of them, because I miss those games, man. I miss uh, the Dreamcast. It was awesome. And last up, we have Volume 6. As it says, The Last Battlefield. Alright. The front, here's the spine. And here's the back. And there's a certain character. He's pretty much like the boss in the game, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, uh, you know, you follow Falcon as he... Uh, I think he try he's trying to find his father at the same time. And then uh, he ends up encountering like all these other characters, you know, the Power Stone. There are uh, seven stones total. So, yeah. All right. And here's the disc. You get some nice line art on there. Yeah, even the logo looks the same, like on the game case, which is really cool. All right. And that does it for Power Stone awesome awesome little series uh let me show you guys all the spines all right let it clear up and here's all the pictures looks cool so yeah this is um out of print too um so if you know you have to find the volumes uh yeah there are six total uh, definitely pick them up, you know, for a good price. They're probably not too expensive, you know, if you find them individually. I have found a couple of them, uh, you know, by themselves. Uh, but yeah, uh, that'd be cool if this got a re-release. I, I think it really deserves it. You know, it's a fun little show, just pop it in, have a good time. And, uh, yeah, Power Stone. And if you're looking for the games, oops, sorry, I think I bumped the camera there. Uh... Yeah, definitely be careful pricing because uh, I have found some Dreamcast games in different places and they can uh, can be pretty expensive. I think maybe depending on, you know, what game it is, the condition, all that stuff. And I've even found used uh, Dreamcast systems. Uh, but uh, those, you know, we find an old system, definitely, you know, ask questions about it, make sure everything is there. Cause I even found like an old 64, like a <laughs> Sega Saturn, the first PS3, the giant one. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, just be aware of that. And uh, yeah, that does it for Mystical Ninja and Power Stone. Feel free to let me know what you guys think. Have you guys seen any of these series? Have you played any of the games? Uh, feel free to let me know. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.